Hello, this is uh, Tom Zappenfeld from Graphilion with today a demo of a small application about text analytics and um, comparing, uh, comparing documents using a cosine similarity algorithm. Um, this demo is, uh, is built in, uh, in uh, Graphilion, our, uh, um, our Graphy application development platform, but it also contains other elements. It uh, contains our implementation of uh, JSON forms. It makes calls to uh, the Meaning Cloud um, text analytics uh, uh, service. It uh, uses uh, AG Grid, our implementation of, uh, of their powerful grid, and also Neo4j and a number of their libraries, among which uh, APOC, but also their algorithm library. Let's, uh, let's have a look, let's create a document, uh, Amy. And uh, Amy, uh, I'm gonna write something about Amy and then the text analytics service will automatically extract information. Amy uh, lives in London. And you can say here that uh, the, the document is created and uh, Every five seconds, uh, there is a um, uh, we make a call at to uh, to uh, to the mini cloud service, but of course only when it's uh, when it's really the contents of the form have been uh, have been updated. So it extracts what it does. It extracts uh, these uh, these. Uh, uh, um, it links it to an existing to an existing. Uh, Vocabulary, if the elements are not there, it's created automatically in the graph. <coughs> and it calculates a document vector, which in this, uh, for this small document only has uh, four dimensions. And I'm only focusing on concepts and entities because uh, the service extracts a lot more information. And uh, if there are any documents similar to Amy, then, um, uh, then uh, they will show up here. So let's add a little bit more uh, about uh, Amy, she uh, loves uh, uh, sushi, and then sushi is of course of a class cooked plate, food products. Also, that one is uh, is added. Now let's have a little bit look at how it works at the at the back. Um, we have here my, our uh, our form. And the form is in uh, Graphilion terms. It's uh, an IO form view, <coughs> IA form view function, and it is uh, wrapped around the, the, the JSON forms library with a schema and a UI schema. And when that form, when there is a change in that form, it triggers the timed, uh, the timed uh, timer, and the timer every five seconds. If there is a change it fires a request to the Meaning Cloud um, web service. So that Meaning Cloud web service, <coughs> it returns a JSON that is, uh, that is processed to, uh, to create uh, the entire vocabulary if it's not existing, but it also links the document here. The entities that are linked are also um, Linked to documents, uh, the document uh, that you are uh, you are processing. So, after the document uh, after the document has been uh, processed, it can calculate the document vector, and that's also a cipher statement here. And the document vector you can see at the end, it is added to uh, to the document. And then when there are uh, when there are uh, displays in the network view, and uh, when there are similar documents, <coughs> it's tried to find it. In this case, uh, I'm doing it dynamically. But if you have large quantities, of course, you would just uh, um, uh, uh, store similarities between documents in the graph. And here, uh, you can of course you can do it uh, manually. But here I'm using. Uh, the uh, uh, algo library of uh, of Neo4j. Let's uh, look a little bit uh, further at uh, how this how this could work. 
So because until now I don't have any similar documents, but if I add something more, uh, her husband uh, Peter is from uh, Cuba. <coughs> And um, okay, and uh, Amy drives a uh, Volkswagen car. Okay, now there are documents showing up, um, and for each document, uh, the similarity is calculated, and you can also see, for instance, the about me document. You can say, okay, what are the common dimensions? Uh, because here, of course, uh, this vector of Amy has had 15, uh, it has 15, uh, uh, 15 dimensions, but uh, of course, for the cosine similarity, it only has, uh, it makes sense to compare the dimensions that are uh, present in both, uh, in both uh, uh, vectors. So you can see the two vectors and which result in the calculation. You can also go from here and then uh, put uh, this document at the center and then you get, uh, you get all the similar documents to this one. So of course, I now I'm typing, but uh, the meaning cloud service only, uh, only uh, um, also uh, accepts a URL, but uh, I always like to Put some more content that in reference you can have. And just add a lot of uh, different inf other information. And you can see that the, the quantity of vectors is uh, only about 234. And you have also documents in uh, Cape Town that are, uh, that are now appearing. And you can see that the number of common dimensions is probably higher. Oh, well, not, uh, not entirely what I really expected. Uh, let's have some other documents in here. Someone who is swimming has, sw has swum around, uh, around the United Kingdom. So let's make uh, a swim document and then put this one in here. Okay, then you can see that it gets increasingly uh, complex. Um, and uh, well, not even that many, uh, many, uh, um, many common dimensions. Um, there is uh, the entire uh, concept hierarchy is automatically updated based on the results from, uh, uh, from the meaning cloud service. And then you are looking at uh, at something like uh, like this. It's a complete uh, complete hierarchy. Um, and of course, it grows. And uh, uh, when there's more information, in it, you get better uh, better matches. Uh, that was it from uh, for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for uh, for more videos. Thank you.